Wednesday, May 30. Spiritual Growth Through Ministry Involvement Spiritual growth comes only as we connect with Jesus. It cannot be produced by human beings simply performing specific tasks, even witnessing and evangelism tasks. A church cannot program spirituality into its members. However, it is a great truth that as believers respond to God's call to be disciples, their personal walk with the Lord deepens and strengthens. When undertaken with a genuine love for God and for the lost, these activities bring numerous spiritual blessings to all involved. Consider now John 7, verse 17. What does this verse tell us about the doing of God's will and increased spiritual growth? Here's the text. If anyone wills to do his will, he shall know concerning the doctrine, whether it is from God or whether I speak on my own authority. There is a strong connection between hearing and doing. Those who do God's will, however little His will they know, will be blessed with a deepening Christian relationship which, coupled with prayerful Bible study, will lead to greater revelations of truth and exciting spiritual growth. Now consider John 4, verse 36. What are the spiritual blessings received as a result of being involved in the harvest of souls? Here's the text. And he who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life, that both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. The disciples reaped where John the Baptist and Jesus had sown. The Samaritan woman herself had clearly planted some gospel seed among the people of her town. How they must have rejoiced together as the ripened spiritual harvest was gathered into the kingdom. Success through working together in witnessing and evangelism creates a bond between God and us and between us as fellow believers. As we respond to God's call to be involved in soul winning, this bond, this spiritual closeness and growth blossoms as a natural result of being on God's team. How has your own faith been strengthened through your own personal witness, both from success and failures? How does witnessing impact your relationship with the Lord?